if you pray this prayer, it also brings to mind the prayer of um, when scriptures say, when all the nations have been reached, um, then Christ will come. So if we're not praying to the Lord of the harvest, we're delaying the harvest, people are dying mm -hmm. like fruit falling from the tree, the end is going to be prolonged. Yeah. Um, so how, how do you think the prayers of God's people are affecting Christ's return, the salvation of souls, and the timing of all of this? What responsibility do we as believers hold, do you think? Well, I mean, I, I look back even to, to the passage I, in Matthew, uh, Matthew 16, I think it's 13 to, to 20, where Jesus uh, asked, who does the disciples say that I am? And, mm -hmm. well, you're the Christ. And, and he says, well, you know, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And right. talked about prayer as this offensive weapon, this, right. this weapon to bring the offensive, to mm -hmm. keep the kingdom moving forward. And somehow in God's sovereign plan, he, he uses believers. And, and the primary way uh, that he uses believers is through, is through prayer, to, to, to grow the kingdom and, and to pray for uh, the lost and, and to pray for uh, the nations, that the nations would come to Christ. Uh, the group I grew up in uh, was as a, a strong missions uh, denomination, and they had one of their tenets. They had kind of four major areas. You know, uh, was that Jesus Christ is is coming again? He's the the second coming. He's the uh, coming King, the soon and coming King. And I remember as a kid, one of the catchphrases that they used to use all the time, and it really related to missions. Mm -hmm was they used to use the phrase, bring back the king, bring back the king, right. that as we pray for missions. Uh, now, I know that, that the date when Christ is going to return, that was set, and no one knows, you know, except the Father. Uh, but what the heart was that it's going to be soon, it's going to be sooner uh, than later if we pray. I mean, if we pray right. for nations, Absolutely. if we pray... Uh, even the founder of this denomination at one point predicted uh, that uh, he felt, and I think he said this in about 1918 or so, he felt that the Lord would return by 1938. Mm -hmm. Now, he wasn't one of these prophetic guys that was picking a date. He knew you weren't supposed to pick a date. Mm -hmm. But in his strategic plan mm -hmm. of how long it would take to get missionaries uh, into mm -hmm. all the reaches of the world. That was going to happen by 1938. So the Lord must must be coming back. Right, now yeah. it proved not yeah. to be right. Yeah. But the the fervor of that, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. was, was huge. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we need to catch a picture. One of the things that's exciting in these days is the the making of the world as a, it's smaller mm -hmm. now. I mean, you can get places faster. You can reach places faster with communication. Mm -hmm. And so as we pray, mm -hmm. I think we're all in the generation that's going to see the return of the Lord. We're going to mm -hmm. see that last person, like that verse says, that last person that hears, mm -hmm. uh, that's going to respond to the gospel, I think is going to be in our, is in our generation because we're getting so close mm -hmm. to that. And prayer is such a, such a key mm -hmm. uh, for that. I re reminded of uh, a few years ago, I was at a, a gathering of world uh, intercessors and about 9,000 of us at the World Prayer Assembly in uh, Jakarta. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that they said there, as we were talking about prayer emphases and what was God doing around the world, a number of people felt that uh, before the end would come, that we would see another major revival, but a, a huge spiritual awakening around the world that would bring in more people into the kingdom than it ever had happened mm -hmm. in a period of time. Mm -hmm. And they felt that it was going to start among young people. Mm -hmm. uh, teenagers and uh, college age young people and the reason was that if you go to any city on earth you know Manila Jakarta uh, you go to London you go to New York City teenagers and young adults look and act exactly the same they have more in common with each other than they do their parents generation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they all have a cell phone right. Right. and when they start sharing news of what Jesus Christ is mm -hmm. doing in their life mm -hmm on mm -hmm. Twitter and Facebook and, mm -hmm. and YouTube and all of those things, the gospel can spread in minutes right. to right. millions right. Of, of people. Mm -hmm. And so we're so close now. Mm -hmm. And so to keep praying for 
uh, the nations of the world yes. to come to Christ, yeah. that, he, that Jesus would get his inheritance, mm -hmm. to keep praying for, for workers and mm -hmm. laborers to go into the harvest mm -hmm. uh, is crucial because mm -hmm. uh, we're looking forward to bringing back the king, the second coming of Absolutely. Christ. Absolutely.